we are asking the critical question of what is a good woman? When you think about a good woman, you want to start by asking yourself, well, what do I need of her? A good woman is going to be able to occupy three meaningful identities. The first identity is that of wife. How does she interact with you? How will she support and love you as a man? Because the truth be told, during the lifetime of your relationship, wife will be her most important characteristic because she chooses you. The kids that you guys produce, she, you know, she didn't choose them. They're the result of your genetics coming together. So wife is number one. You need to be concerned with how she's going to treat you. That's identity one. Identity number two is her as a professional. Can she add to the pot? She doesn't have to be the breadwinner. She doesn't have to be the biggie, bigger earning person. She doesn't even have to work. But is she a professional, meaning is she competent? If you need her to work on your behalf or to support you or to help you in your endeavors, can she do that? Or is she just a lazy, social media concerned, idle person who doesn't want to do anything? Her level of competency and professionalism are critically important, not only for earning a dollar and helping you multiply your fortune, but also for her domestic chores. If she's a good professional and she's competent, it's likely that she might apply that level of excellence to her affairs within the home. So that's identity number two. Identity number three is mother. Right. How is she going to love on your kids? Is she going to know how to encourage your kids to be great? Show the greatest part of who they are every day. Is she going to be a great mother who teaches your kids to be who they really are? Who teaches your kids to be good to good people? Mother is so important because they say the mother is the first teacher of the child. But you have to remember the man is the first teacher of the mother, right? The husband. So is she going to impart your lessons onto your children? Think about how the women you're taking seriously in a relationship will occupy those three identities. Those identities being well performed, that is the beginning of a really good woman who will bring you value over a lifetime. Carrying on, let's think about what are the personality traits of a good woman? Well, there is she's appreciative, she's respectful, she's conservative, and she's responsible. Let's dig in. When we're talking about a woman being appreciative, that means that she's thankful for what you provide to her, not only materially, but also in terms of your spiritual guidance, your advice, your emotional support, the way you stand up as a man, the fact that you're a protector. She's thankful for all of those things. The more a woman is thankful and has gratitude, that's a happy person. You're going to want to be around that woman because she's not a complainer. She doesn't lament. So that is a great woman to have in your family. Secondly, respectful. Now, respectful is terribly important. Ladies, saints, I hope you're listening closely. Though love may be the most important experience you can have, for a real man, respect is everything. Quick anecdote on a woman that I had the privilege of being involved with who really understood the importance of respect. So, hey, for me as a man, you know, love is great, but if I had to choose between love and respect, give me my respect. Yiddick! Anyways, on the last day that I was with this woman, you know, we, we broke up. It was because of her choice. She was pissed. She's like, it's over. We're never doing this again. It's over. I was like, okay. So we went to sleep that night, woke up the next morning, and she called me downstairs, and I was wondering, what does she want? I come downstairs. She says, your breakfast is ready. And I was thinking, should I even eat this? Is this even safe to consume? This might be poison. But I sat down and it just smelled irresistible per usual, so I ate it. And I thought about why would she make me breakfast when I know she has some ill will? Well, it's respect. Over time, she's built up respect. Also, it's who she is. She's continuing to be who she is. And when a man is in her home, when a guest is in her home, she was raised in a traditional conservative family. And this is how you honor and respect your guests. So I had to appreciate that and know that when someone knows who they are, they don't get outside of that identity because of a temporary setback or a temporary emotion. Further, though she didn't want to be my woman, she still knew me over a long period of time and still has a tremendous level of respect. For me, you know, love may come and go, but if you're a respectable man, the respect will always be there. 
people who know you will always esteem you even if they don't love you. You heard me. So respect is critical. Conservative. Well, you might say, Marquette, that's your personal preference. No, no, no. Conservative is a critical piece for every man's woman because if your woman is not conservative, what kind of bizarre ideas might she teach your child as a mother? What kind of gender confusion might she impart to your child as a mother? Conservative is important because that's going to get her to cover herself up so that she can be worthy of respect. When a woman has a level of conservatism, it indicates a level of self-respect and she's going to represent you well. When she takes on your last name, you don't want her out there in those streets looking like a harlot. Now, do you? I don't think so. The last one is responsible. A woman who is able to take responsibility is a woman you can have a long-term relationship with because as you progress, you'll find that there's inevitably going to be conflict. And when there is, if she is in the wrong position, she can admit that, take responsibility for her actions. It is a clear mark of immaturity in the male or female when they're unable to take responsibility. So a woman who can take responsibility, of which there's not a ton because it's not really their thing, if she has that phenomenal characteristic to take responsibility, then you will always be able to find a resolution to your challenges. So certainly seek that. The last thing that I would avoid in the personality is if the woman is bisexual. You know, she's like a real, you know, she's really into that because that woman you can never really connect with on the deep level because when she was a young person or even in her adulthood, when she visualizes her ideal, well, that might not be you. It might be a woman, right? And we're all at the end of the day pursuing our subconscious ideals. We might not get there, but if we fall short, it should be close, right? And if she has this fuzziness around what she really wants, male or female, how can you really fit into a stable, enduring relationship with her when in reality she within herself has a level of confusion that you will not be able to remedy? So I encourage you to be cautious of that for that will not be a good thing in your relationship. So saints, I want to summarize. When you're thinking of making a woman a long-term part of your family, you make sure that she would be a good wife. She's a great professional. She would be an extraordinary mother. She has the traits of being appreciative, respectful, conservative, and responsible. And you avoid certain other characteristics that I've mentioned. Well, saints, I hope this has served you to fill in some of the blanks that your mother, your father, the society has left for you in terms of describing what a good woman really is. Let us end this the way we always end this, with the creed of the assassin. Wherever you are, say this with full conviction, knowing it is true of you. The creed of the assassin. I am going to be who I truly am because I am remarkable. And I'm going to strive every moment to show the greatest part of who I am. Until next time.